new four lane is over on the other side down here to a certain point and then it then everything gets shifted because if you look at the road as is now up here where the bridge is at it actually sh shifts to the right coming down the hill so what is actually now both lanes will become eastbound lanes and what will become the westbound lanes is where they're actually building the new bridge although I don't know why but let me think about that oh yeah yeah so that this will this will continue to go straight right onto the new bridge and then uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna get shifted all the way to the left or what but if you could see it head on you can understand the bridge is over there on the left and that's where the new road is gonna be right there where that ridge You'll see where the new bridge is at. We're actually crossing over to where the eastbound bridge is at, which is what is here now. So up here is the new bridge for the westbound side. So that's going to be the westbound bridge there. We're on the eastbound bridge, of course. So up here, I don't know if they're going to shift the road over completely. We, we had to jog right because there's a rest area there that I think they're going to be taking out probably. And then we'll jog back to the left here. So, oh, okay. They moved the power poles over here on the right. Man, that's blurry. Okay, so they moved the power poles over here on the right. So this will now be the westbound lanes that we're in right now, even though we're going east. So they're going to build the new road over on the right side, which will be the eastbound side, of course. That's the railroad tracks there. That's the, uh, to get across that bridge back there, which I hopefully got in that shot. And there's actually a third lane going up this hill right here. And you're going to turn in front of me, two people trying to pass me. That makes a lot of sense. I got a car in front of me or SUV in front of me it wants to turn which is coming out of this lane and I had to wait for those two to pass me so I could get over so like I said this will become the westbound lanes over on the right will be the eastbound lanes because there's actually a turn up here a curb I mean and I, I guess they're going to build everything over on the right side from here See if we can get this. So where the new power pole line is at, we're gonna build the road over there for the eastbound side. And I don't know how far they're gonna go. Let's see how far they're gonna go. Set the cruise again. I'm only riding 65 today. And if that's got any of the bad window in it, I'm sorry. My sprayer don't spray out that far on the windshield wiper. Power pole line, the eastbound lanes will be over there, two lanes. It'd be 
it goes to Tucumcari, then it splits off at Tucumcari. Then it goes through uh, Logan, New Mexico, Nara Vista, which is a four lane as well. And then it goes to Dalhart, and from Dalhart it goes through Stratford and uh, Texoma and Goodwill, Oklahoma, and through up to Liberal. I mean, there's some other towns in there. They've actually made four lanes, and part of Oklahoma is four lane. Texas they're making passing lanes but they're screwed up because where there's a passing lane on the west side of Dalhart where there's a passing lane you can't pass if you're going the other direction where there isn't you know they, they made they left it a double double yellow and that's where you need you know it, it, it just needs to be turned into four lane all the way if you have room to put a passing lane and then and switch it to the other side, you got room to put a four lane in all the way. What else? Let's see here. So, yeah, basically, all it's like I said, except for through towns where it can be four lane, it already is four lane through Pratt and Greensburg. passing lane. 